Bonjour, everyone. Welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. Now, this one could get people talking. It has got people talking in the past. It has got people talking in the present. Right now, I'm seeing it on social media. I've been brewing over this idea for the last couple of weeks. Nanny did it in the summer, actually, during the summer transfer window. There's that much to talk about now. I thought I'd get this out of the way before the January transfer window comes. And Newcastle are back in training today. They embarked on their pre-season friendly against Rio Vallecano at St. James Park on Saturday before getting back to competitive action in less than a week's time. Just a few days' time, Tuesday night, Bournemouth at home. Anyways, we're not talking about that just yet. We're talking about, but is it time to change the club badge? Now, I've seen a lot of debate on this. The club's crest. A lot of people thought this was going to happen when the takeover happened, or, or, or in the summer, just gone, shall I say, once safety was secure and they were, they were building it up, you might even see it happen next summer, though. That's what people are saying now, because, obviously, we know Funny and Aid's leaving at the end of next season. They're trying their best to push the story out the door, get a new shirt sponsor in there as well. New sponsorships are flying all over with the, with the likes of Saudi, who supported the Saudi Arabian trip. You know, we've got noon on the sleeve now, you see. Things around the, the advertising board of St. James's Park. It's only going to get bigger, more sponsors, more lucrative deals, thankfully. Now, one aspect, and you see this every time a takeover happens, is a bad change. We've seen it with Manchester City. They waited a while, though. When they took over Manchester City in 2008, they didn't change the badge until 2016 or 13. Can't remember. Can't be honest to check. I haven't got the time. But, you know, it was several years before they ended up changing the badge. And we see it on a daily basis. We've seen Aston Villa change their badge. They're going to change their badge. They did a Twitter poll and stuff like that. So, and Darren Eels has said, a bit of a diversion, yeah, Darren Eels has said that, you know, he would engage with fans over big decisions. A man has stayed his back at it as well. Like a name change of the stadium, like a badge change, like anything, they're going to get in dialogue with supporters, which is brilliantly here. Because we all know what happened with the Leeds United badge. Disaster, that one. Absolute embarrassment. That got put out. And just 12 hours later, the Leeds United owners changed their mind, backtracked, after the backlash from fans and all your opposite supporters were, were taking the piss out of the league, you know, making memes and everything. So they changed the badge back and they're gonna they're still in talks with fans to, to redevelop the badge and, and make a new one. So you'd see that with Newcastle, but you see it over the years, you know, I remember Arsenal changing theirs, West Ham United, you know, see I like the old West Ham one, but everyone now is changing it to those type of badges, um changing it to circle badges. Circular badges are all the fashion, the emblem is the circle because it's easy. It's easy to put on all sorts of merchandise, it's easy for graphic images, it's easy for marketing, everything. It makes life easier, it's easier for, you know, we're getting in the age now of, of metaverses and crypto, all these sort of things, you know, where you're buying images for digital currency and stuff like that. So Newcastle are going to map that on everything. Other teams are doing it, putting the brand out there, put, and it makes life a lot easier and it makes it simpler. Now, there's this thing from the Chronicle that a lot of this comes from of when they, when they interviewed a graphic designer and a, a marketing advisor and he was saying, you know, it's a lot easier to have that circle badge. And Newcastle need to change theirs because ours is too complicated, too broad. It changes in different resolution. It changes when it's zoomed in, zoomed out, that type of thing. It's, it's very hard to replicate the same image. It changes a lot. So... Um, they're saying it needs to be simplified, it needs to be smartened up, it needs to change a few things because it, people are calling it busy. It's busy now. There's too much going on. Too many seahorses. I mean, so you look at Newcastle United's badge now, and this is it across the years as well. This is across the year. New, this is Newcastle, technically Newcastle United's fifth badge that they've got right now, and it is the oldest badge in the Premier League. We've changed, we, we haven't changed our badge for what will be 35 years next summer. 35 years since this badge was introduced, and that's that's a long time for a badge, you know what I mean? It's only Newcastle United, Manchester United and Liverpool that have got the same badge since the turn of the millennium. And yet you mentioned Liverpool, but all their shirts now are different. They always have that LFC one on, so they have changed it without changing it, if you like. You see both, you see the old school Liverpool one there and the cop and stuff, but you're, all their tops now have got that LFC one on. So they have changed it, really, without maybe changing it overall forever. They may revert back to that, back to this. And Newcastle have done bits of that. Obviously, we had the black and white badge not so long ago in the, in the middle of the top. You know, they've, they've done that sometimes, changed the, changed the transparency on the image and stuff, but the contrast and whatnot. But, yeah, it's been a long time. 35 years since we've had this badge, 1988. I think we've had some very good badges over the years. I'm a big fan of our current badge. And this video isn't me asking for a badge change, by the way. I like the history of our badge. I like how different our badge is. Because if we turn to a circle badge, 
and it's just an emblem, circle, it's going to look like Man City, it's going to look like Chelsea, it's going to look like Aston Villa's new one, everyone, you know what I mean, they've got so, it, it's, our badge is class, I think it's unique, the two seahorses, the black and white shield, the little castle on the top, the blue and gold on the bottom, Newcastle United, I think it's brilliant, I really like our badge, I'm a big fan of it, not just seeing it uh, with a bit of favouritism there, I think we have the best badge. So, where's my trophy for that? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> where's your price for that? I honestly think, look at the Premier League badges, I think ours is the best one. I really, really do. I think it's class, our badge, but I can see it changing. I think it's inevitable that it changes, or at least gets a little bit of a freshen up. Because, like I say, 35 years, the new owners are probably going to want to make put their stamp on things. Smart not doing it straight away. Don't want to disrupt the noise, disrupt the fan base. You wouldn't do it in the first year. Been over a year now. I wouldn't be surprised if they did it next summer. I think they'll probably wait a little bit longer. I think they'll probably wait two, three years. But the way we're we good, if we start getting European football and the recognition goes up and the global attention goes up quicker than expected, the badge change may come quicker than expected as well. I would, I would fully say it, you know, and I don't think they would do it for to upset the fans. They would definitely engage with the fans and ask them their opinions on it. But I just think it, it makes sense. You're just modernising it. You, you're simplifying it, like I say, it's for marketing needs. You're giving it a fresh look. We are in, It's a new era now, a new Newcastle under the Saudi Arabian ownership. I think I think we're going to go for something like the Circle Badge. Now. It just looks a bit too boring, a bit too similar to other people. It's a bit, I don't know, I just, I just like the traditional one that we've got now, the history of it, how it's unique, the shape of it, the things in and around the badge. I think it suits best, but I think it's inevitable that the change is going to happen. Now, the Chronicle did a poll as well back in May, I think it was. 45% said yes to a badge change. So it's very close. That may even be close enough. Maybe we'll work out a poll on our Instagram page or something in our story. I'll tell you what, I'll do that tonight. So check out us on, on the Magpie Channel Instagram. We'll see how that gets on. I'll share the results tomorrow. But uh, for me, no. Well, I don't know. I'm probably 50 50 as well. I, I, I would obviously want to see what the new badge was. If someone could do something very good with it, then you'd be like, yeah, that's good. Yeah, why not? Let's have a fresh start. But I just do like the traditional badge. I do like the history of it. But I wouldn't be totally against the change, but I just can't... I'd say I can't see the point. I've listed the reasons for the points, you know. Making it simpler for marketing, making it easier, making it more recognisable, but um, all that sort of stuff. But for me, I, I like... Why, if it ain't broke, why fix it? Do you know what I mean? And it isn't broke. I think it's beautiful, our badge. Class badge, proud of that badge. But at least if it was going to change, Newcastle United and the new ownership would engage with fans and get their opinions on it and maybe have a meeting with fans and stuff like that and do um, suggestions on email and Twitter and stuff to engage with, with, the, with the fan base and understand. Make three designs and then let the fans pick. Why not? You can't go wrong with that, can you? People who haven't got Twitter on a match day, people around with suggestions or something, I don't know, like where you go and you could... Take which one you preferred or something, I don't know. You know, there's ways around there's ways around going about it to get it done. But this badge just completely came out of the blue in nineteen eighty eight. I was reading there was no official announcement of 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 it. Obviously there was no social media back then, but you know, there was no like fanzine letter or an advert in, in the Chronicle or in the match day programme. There was nothing said about upcoming badge change. Bang! I don't know, it was just there's a, there's the players wearing the, with the new badge on the kit. And it just happened like that. It, these things happen. Look, it happens all the time now in football. The teams are getting turned into global brands. You've got to make it appealing and easy to do for the reasons I said, like the on, on, on graphics, on images online, everything else, you know, and you've you've got to have it that way. So I think we will see change. Um we might see an announcement next summer maybe about it, and then they, they do ask for fans' opinions on it, whatnot. Oh you never know, they might just bring out some training gear on the new badge on bang, there you go. What what we can't do nothing about it, really. You, you can cause the backlash like Leeds fans did. But I think with this ownership, the way, they're, the way they are with, with the fan base and everything, Darren Eels has mentioned it, Amanda Stavely, I think there would be a consortium about it. There would be proper opinions and, and structure in place to get it done rightly. You know what I mean? Get a proper badge in place, get a fan favourable badge in place and get it in there. But just avoid some of the disasters that we've seen in the past. Um, and I think they would be smart with it. But for me, you know what it is? I'm like the Chronicle, down the line, 50-50. All day long, keep the badge, nothing wrong with it, looks nice, brilliant. On the other side, let me show me what, what it would be. Show me ideas. I've obviously had ones on the screen throughout this video. Like I said, the circle one with the blue, I think that's nice. A lot of the other ones, not so much. But show me, Newcastle United, you know, whoever it would be, they put out two or three of them, pick one. Then I may not be against it, I may be like, oh, do you know what, actually, that's really nice, that. It's fresh, it's new, it's exciting. 
it's 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 linked with the takeover it's like a new era it's a new it's a new start you know it looks it's modernized maybe i'd be for it but I, for now i like the current badge so i wouldn't see a massive deal point in changing it from a business point of view they are mate so we'll wait and see on that one now i know what you think in the comments below would you be in favor of new castinated changing their badge subscribe to my channel tv and enjoy yourself